I got the exhaust off. This is one of the uh, headers. So there's my pre O2 sensor and my post O2 sensor. On a normal uh, BMW header, there's a cap built into this. Other people have your cap farther down, but you're always gonna have a sensor before and after your catalyst converter. In this case, since it's been deleted because they're headers, um, what happens now is since there's no cap, this sensor detects a lot of dirty air and um, triggers a check engine light. Um, so what I'm gonna show you is a quick way of uh, kind of fooling the computer. Um, this can also be done if you have a cap, but it's starting to fail. You can also um, simulate a little bit of clean air by basically removing these. I went to AutoZone and I bought some of this. They're called uh, spark plug non-fowlers. Basically, it's the same thread. Um, you take one of these and you thread it into your uh, exhaust uh, O2 port right there. And then you um, install your O2 sensor. So our adapter here is basically a restrictor. What it does, it restricts hot gases from hitting the uh, sensor right on the head. Because um, normally this will be sitting right in there and all the hot gas is hitting it directly. So what this does, it uh, blocks some of the hot gas from hitting it. Um, the only thing about this on BMWs is this only threads on a bit and it bottoms out. So you gotta drill out this center section out a little more to a half inch, I believe, to be able to fit the head all the way inside here. Once you got that, you'll be able to put it on there. Um, in most cases, most cars, this will fit up straight up with no problem and won't have no issues clearing. I think even the BMW will fit real tight. In my case, what I did is I built a um, elbow here. So I took one of these adapters, cut it in half and welded it onto an elbow. So once I get my uh, elbow right back on there, this one here, I had to cut a little bit of an angle because of the way the car's frame rolls up. So basically, once we get it in there, we'll be able to get our sensor installed and then be able to uh, get some clearance from the frame rail, which is the issue we were having. So that's why I put the elbow there. Got the exhaust off. This is my three inch straight pipe. Goes right here from the headers. I got my air fuel ratio sensor here, really loosened it up. And basically it ends there where the axle's at and it's a two and a half to the exhaust. Um, we're gonna be cutting section out right here and inserting the uh, cutoff. All right guys, so we got the uh, headers here. I already took off the O2 sensors. Um, we're gonna get it cleaned up, take some scotch bright to it, get all the rust off. Even though it is stainless steel, it's still rust due to the temperatures. It gets really hot. So what we're gonna do is after cleaning it up, we're gonna spray it with a little bit of a ceramic coating. It's basically a spray that uh, withstands, um, I guess 1300 to 2000 Fahrenheit. So it should be uh, pretty, pretty resistant to the heat. We're gonna get this cleaned up and spray it. Let me get this going. Okay guys, that was our first coat. I'm gonna lay about uh, four coats on there. So our first coat, we're gonna spray it, let it uh, rest for about three, four, five minutes. Second coat, we're gonna do the same. Give it about five minutes until it feels uh, like it's drying up. And then our third coat, then we're gonna let it sit about 10 minutes. Then our fourth coat, and we'll let it sit another 10 minutes. By then you should have a pretty thick layer. Um, then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make a little custom oven. 
this paint here requires us to um, bake it you can either uh, put it on turn the car on and let it cook it on which is probably not the recommended thing because um, some spots are hotter than others they may burn the paint the right way to do it put it in an oven I don't have an oven but we're gonna build a little custom one I'm gonna show you how to do that and we're gonna get these baked on after I get finished with these coats This is our finished product. These headers look like brand new. That coating really did a good job. It got everywhere. It looks very even. Looks really good, like new again. And also gonna keep the engine temperatures down, which is gonna help us make more power. And the car is gonna run a lot better. Really impressed with the uh, quality of this uh, ceramic. We'll see how it holds up to the heat. But next, we're gonna get it uh, baked on. So let's get the box going and get this oven going. Okay, so we're gonna be building this oven today. Very cheap, cost effective. Basically, you need a cardboard box, you need an aluminum tray, a heat gun, some aluminum paper, and a thermostat helps to have just to watch the temperature. What we're gonna use today is these headers. We're gonna be baking them. This is a uh, ceramic coated, so let me show you how to do this. Okay. Our first step is going to be to cut a hole in the cardboard box. I cut it right there. Basically our heat gun be able to go in there and uh, do its job, let it cook. But first thing, we're going to put the aluminum foil paper. We're going to go inside, wrap the bottom of it. We're going to hold it down with a couple little uh, safety pin buttons here. That will help keep the aluminum in place. Then we uh, cut the aluminum tray. We're gonna give it a almost an angle to it so it's gonna deflect the heat back onto the part and that'll basically create an oven for it. Let me show you how to do that. There it is. It's all wrapped up. Got the aluminum foil on all the walls, on the floor. Now we're going to work on the tray, trim it up so we can get that like a okay, So what I did with the tray is basically I uh, trimmed it. I used the edge right here, which is kind of strong. Folded it down like legs. And then uh, lifted the, the little bit of the lid right here. So basically what it'll do, it'll sit something like this. Our part will sit in there and uh, keep warm. But uh, our header... We're going to put it in the oven, get this uh, cooking. Basically, we'll put this uh, little tray over it. That'll help keep the heat on it from the top and bottom. We'll be able to stick our uh, heat gun down in there and just uh, get this start baking it. Let's get it going. Our heat gun here, this is from Harbor Freight. They're about 15, 20 bucks. So all in all, I've spent about, I don't know, 30 bucks if that on this whole project. Uh, this heat gun has two settings. A low and a high. We're going to start with low. This paint requires us to paint these pieces at 250 degrees. Let it cool, then do 400 degrees. Let it cool, then do 600 degrees. I don't know if we can get to 600 degrees, but I'm going to show you another trick if we can't get there with this box. So first thing is getting the heat gun kind of angled. I got it angled a little bit down, so most of the heat hits the bottom and kind of radiates up. And I hit the bottom of the header. That way we're not burning the most notable, noticeable spot, which is the top. Um, let's get this going. Stage one, start with the cool side. Let's get it going. We'll close it up. We'll put a thermostat in it. Okay, so we are about up 350 degrees. It's staying there. There's some of the heat escaping, but that's cool. We just gotta let it sit there for a little while. Okay, so I opened it up right here. I'm gonna hit it with the laser gun. Heat temperature here is 400 degrees, perfect. Because the uh, instructions show for, I believe the second coat has to go up to 400 degrees. Bake at 400 degrees. First time is 250, then 400, then we'll take it up to 600. 
But right now, 400 degrees, we're doing good. We're gonna let this sit for about 20 minutes here. Then we're gonna let it cool for about 20. And we'll go from there. Guys, so check this out. Top of the box, it's close to 200 degrees. The side, it's about 150. So be safe around it. I don't think it's hot enough to catch fire. But it's better to be safe than sorry. I have one of these ready to go and you'll be okay. Okay guys, so after baking them, headers came out really good. Um, lighting is a little bit rough here. A lot of uh, sunlight there, but it actually shows a nice color. At the end of the day, it worked out pretty good. I did end up burning up the heat gun at the end of it. It barely took the last run. Um, keep in mind, heat gun was already used and they're not really made to run that long, but um, it worked. So uh, for pretty cheap, 20 bucks for the heat gun, cardboard box and some aluminum foil, pretty cheap for an oven. Uh, always recommend to use a fire extinguisher. Like I said, the heat gun burned up, started sparking up, disconnected it right away, but um, don't try this at home. I did it myself, don't recommend it for anybody. Um, but the next step will actually be cooking the headers on the car. So once we get them installed and the car is running, we'll turn it off for a little while, let them get hot, and just to get them to break in a little bit, and then we'll go from there. Now we're gonna get the uh, O2 sensors reinstalled onto the headers. Right here, I got the uh, sensors cleaned up pretty good. Took a wire brush to the threads right there so we can get a clean thread and also clean the heads on these they used to be kind of burned up this will be uh, better for the sensor itself it should be able to read a little bit better as you can see on this one here it's got these little slots on the tip of the sensor they're clogged up the sensor is not really working you may end up buying a whole sensor and there's nothing wrong with it so clean them up good put some anti-seize on the threads like I did there it's gonna make the job a lot easier for you to thread it back in once you get it started right there, get it all the way down, take a wrench, tighten it down a little bit. You don't have to go too crazy. It does have a crush washer. Um, I don't have a problem reusing them. A little leak here in the exhaust is not going to be a big deal. Uh, the rear ones have uh, the defouler, as we remember. I had to put them in there, so um, that will prevent the check engine light from coming on. Let's get this all going next. I love everything. Fire spreading all around my room. My world's so bright. It's hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush.